Hey guys, happy spring. It's your girl Aideen. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and you hit that bell so you can get notified when I upload new videos. If you're OG, triple OG, original gangster to my channel, thank you so much for sticking around and welcome back to another nail tutorial. So today is going to be a spring inspired nail design. It's super easy. You need you only need a few supplies. So if you guys want to see how I achieve this bomb AF nail, spring nail, then keep on watching. All right, guys, so this design is super easy. You're only going to need a few products. So the first one is this a bright neon yellow. It's by the brand Canny, and it's their gel paint in the number 602. So that's the first color. As you can tell, I already did one nail, so I wanted to see how it will look. And the next color will be by the same brand, and is the color 563. And it's like a tan color. And then you will need a um, a blending brush, kind of like this. And I did use the same brush, well not the same brush, but the same technique in my uh, one of my videos. I will link it down below, which is like a purple ombre. That I and here I'm showing you the next brush that I'll be using. It's an old, old nail brush from another nail polish that I wasn't using, so I decided to use it. And then of course you need your top coat, either matte or glossy. Here I'm dipping that brush and I'm picking up some of the 563 color and I will be applying that halfway down the nail. As you can tell, it's like a little bit halfway down the nail. And you just keep blending this color until you get the desired pigmentation and like design that you want. This design is all about blending the two colors together. Next, I will be taking the little ombre brush and I will be dipping it in the 602 color, which is a yellow, and I will be applying that on the tip of the nail. And you guys, that's not like a really defined technique with this. Just take your time, put some color on, blend it out, take away color, add color until you get the design that you're looking for you want to make sure that both of the colors are blended very well together and also once you put the top coat it will melt everything in together really really good so basically you're just going to keep doing that and then it should look something like this and there you go. Once you get like the color and the blending that you want, then you're going to cure it in the lamp and then go back for a second layer of both of the colors. And that's what I'm doing right here. I'm doing a second layer of both of the colors, blending them in together and then applying, uh, curing it in the lamp and applying a top coat. So this design is super easy. You can do this with regular nail polish, gel polish like I'm doing here, or actual acrylic. So here I'm showing you how I did my middle finger and I just sped up the clip so it could be way faster and you guys don't get bored because it's a super, super easy technique. I decided to add some bling to the nail. So here I'm showing you some yellow rhinestones that I had in my stash and I'm using this diamond gel charm adhesive and my crystal katana to pick up the diamonds. So I will be taking the pointy side of the crystal katana and dipping it in the gel and putting the gel on the nail and then picking up the crystal and applying it on the actual nail. And I'm doing a little cluster so I'm doing like a large side large size diamond and two medium ones on the side and after that I will cure it and that completes the look. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe and let me know what else you guys want to see in my channel. I'm thinking of doing a spring makeup tutorial for Saturday's video. So keep on uh, an eye out for that and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.